Hi all, I just wanted to talk a bit about the best URL structure for search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO. I'll quickly show you what I mean by URL structure. So if I go to our website emediacoach.com and go to one of the tutorial pages, you'll see that the URL structure is our website.com forward slash tutorials forward slash the name of the tutorial. This is an excellent structure not only because people will find it easy to understand if they search for something in, in Google and, and our website comes up, they will easily know that this particular page is one of our tutorial pages. Not only is it excellent for users, it's also great for search engines because from a search engine's point of view it adds layers to your website as opposed to having a website which is just one layer deep making it something like this having a proper URL structure makes it more than one level deep and adds more depth to your website now you should do this with things such as in our case tutorials or a lot of businesses have services and it would be great to list your services under the services category in your website so I'm actually going to show you how you can achieve that firstly log into your WordPress dashboard once you're in there, go to Settings, Permalinks. Now the default permalink when you install WordPress will be this one here, Postname, or it may be something else. But we want to use a custom structure, okay? Delete whatever's in there and enter this here. Now to make it easy for you, I'll put this on our website and there'll be a link in the description below to that page so you can just copy and paste this from our website into this field here hit save changes now the next thing to do is add categories to do that go up into posts categories In this website, there's already a services and tutorials category. So as an example, I'll use something else, say products. Now, when I prepare my information on each product, I will assign it to the products category and it will fall under that into in the content tree. Slug, this will actually show up in the URL. So name it appropriately. You can leave this blank and add new category. One thing to note is in WordPress, only when you add a new post will you be able to assign a category to it, whereas pages won't and are structured simply as forward slash contact us or whatever else. You cannot assign a category for pages. So next, add a new post. And as an example, We want to add this to the products category, so check that box there. If you don't do this and leave it blank and hit publish, what will happen is that it will be added to an uncategorized category and will be displayed as such in the URL, like you see there. So when we add that to the products category and save, you'll see that that URL string refreshes and this particular product appears under the products section of our information of the information architecture of your website now you could do this for every single one of your products similarly how we've done with every single one of our tutorials like you see there and like I said, that adds depth to your site and is not, not only useful for real human users, but also adds value to search engines. I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and we will definitely answer. Also, like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.